Hello everyone, this is Ezra May and this is my first ever makeup tutorial. For Halloween this year I decided to do three different evil queen looks because she is my favourite villain and it was a lot of fun so let's just get right into it. First off I'm doing Regina from Once Upon a Time and I just started off with my normal foundation routine, use whatever you want and then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows and try to make them really defined and dark just like they are in the picture. Now I'm going in with a white eyeliner pencil as my base and try to find a creamy one because this one kind of tagged at my skin and hurt a little bit. So I'm smudging that everywhere and then setting it with a white eyeshadow. Next I'm going to go in with a pink eyeshadow. This was pretty close to the one in her picture. And um, I'm just going to outline the, um, you know, just outer part of my eye. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but just like this um, and don't really go into the middle because we're going to define that later. And now I'm filling my outer corner with a black eyeshadow um, to give it some depth. And then I'm just blending that together with a blending brush and some more of that pink eyeshadow. Next I'm taking my pencil and I'm just highlighting the inner corner and then underneath my brow bone um, just like it looks like in the picture. It is all just trial and error. Now I'm going to mimic the top colours um, underneath, so start off with the pink and then go in with the black like so, I think it looks really cool and it, it just adds more. And now I'm going to do falsies, which I didn't do for the next two because it just stung my eyes, but I think it worked for this look anyway. Um, you don't really have to do it. If you have long eyelashes, it is not a problem. Now I'm just covering the excess with an eyeliner. Um, yeah, I should have put eyeliner before I put them on, but well, I just didn't. Now I'm blending my eyelashes and the falsies together with some mascara. And that's pretty much the finished eye look. Now I'm just defining my lips with a plum pencil and going in with my favourite Colourpop uh, liquid lipstick in More Better. I feel like this is the perfect pink because she wears this on the show a lot, not just in this picture. And I'm adding her trademark beauty spot just near my lips using an eyeliner pen. I thought it was really cute. And now I'm using this hair as a reference instead of the one in the makeup reference because I thought it was more fancy. But, well, let's see what happens. In the end I gave up and I just put a small section of hair up at the front with a lot of volume and I'm using these cool earrings that are the same at the front and at the back and this is basically the finished look. I'm going to do Queen Ravenna from Snow White and the Huntsman, which I think is an underrated film. I love how glam and dark she looks in this movie. So I'm just going to go ahead and define my eyebrows as usual. Don't forget your foundation. And using a silvery eyeshadow, I'm just going to cover my whole eyelid. It's just very sort of blended and lovely. And I'm going to use a darker, more grayish eyeshadow and make sort of a wing, but nothing too defined. I smudge it out later anyway. And using that first silver, I'm going to highlight the middle part of my eye though I don't actually think it did anything but I was just trying to be cool and you know a makeup artisty anyway so cleaning off the excess and for the bottom lash line I'm using a sort of muted purple because I was looking at this picture simultaneously so I merged two looks together sorry um, and for some reason I decided to redefine my eyebrows and I think I overdid it so sorry about that again and I'm just gonna do a normal um, cat eye with a little flick like so uh, and then I'm going to do um, just normal mascara, no falsies, because that was so much work and it hurt. And don't forget your bottom lashes. Now I'm just defining my lips with a nude pencil and then going to go in with Max Velvet Teddy, which is an amazing nude if you don't have it already. And then splitting my hair in two and then making four sections, so two at the front, two at the back, and just braiding all of them. It's pretty simple. Once you're done, just thicken the braid and layer them on top of your head in a crisscross style and hold them down with bobby pins. Add a few black dangly earrings and you're done. Last but not least, I'm doing the Evil Queen from Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. I feel like I could have done this a lot better, but this is kind of just my first time. So, you know, you can modify bits that you want. First, I tried to erase my eyebrow with a white eyeliner pencil and cover the rest of my eyelid with that, smudge it everywhere and set it with a white eyeshadow. And next, I'm going to go in with a purple shadow and sort of make a triangle so that it's really defined because it is an animation, so you can be a bit creative. Um, and I'm just going to fill in the triangle portion of my eyelid. 
With a lighter purple, I'm going to sort of try and blend that in with the white. I thought this was a bit of definition and it turned out okay. And with a black eyeliner pen, I'm going to do her eyebrow. I really feel like I could have done this a lot higher and a lot more angrier, but this is what I ended up doing. Next I'm going to do a really sort of straight cat eye, um, just, she just has really long defined eyeliner in the picture, so I'm just going to do that. And instead of falsies, I decided to draw eyelashes on it. I thought I was able to do this because it was an animation, um, it looked okay. I'm going to do my bottom lash with the same purple and then do my mascara on the top and the bottom. For lips I'm just doing a red lipstick, um, this was very matte so I went over again with a gloss and I thought it turned out cool. Um, and now I'm going to do a low bun and I'm going to hairspray this brush and try to make the rest of my hair really straight because I didn't have time to make her headpiece. So instead I added these cool earrings and this crown I actually made from a template um, which I just printed and stuck onto a headband. So if you want to download that just go in the description box. Um, and that's it. That's a look. I feel like I could have, you know, done rosier cheeks and made a better costume, but it's okay. It's DIY and that is it. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, maybe I'll do more of these in the future. It was a lot of effort, but it was also a lot of fun. So please subscribe and like, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.